Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we managed to get our very first unspent knowledge point as well as getting two unspent skill points, which it is about time that we use. So for the knowledge or the research part, basically everyone who told or that I saw in the comments who told me which of the mods to go for, told me to go pouches and I 100% agree because they are basically kind of like banks if we set them up right. I hope I have the resources I need for it because basically these are the ones right here, pouches. And this thing, we should be able to manage this. However, we need a few or basically just one, which is a, a upgrade, I should say, which is this one right here, the pickup upgrade which is also a little bit expensive, but I think we should be able to manage it. We can also make a filter upgrade, which is also a little bit expensive, but again, we'll have to see. Oh, and the upgrade base itself is expensive. We'll see how it goes. First of all, I want to make the pouch and I think I have everything that I need. Uh, I should have the bundle in here. Yep, I have the bundle in my inventory. I was prepared. Uh, I need two magic silk. And I need one magic silk block. So that should be 11 in total. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then I just need the three perfect Larimar, which is, um, which is going to be interesting. I only have these 11 ores. I really hope for the best here, but here we go. Okay. 30 Laramar gems will result in seven perfect Laramar. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. Okay, let's make the pouch itself. Boom. And then I will need a pickup upgrade. Which actually the pickup upgrade itself doesn't require any Laramar, only this does. Okay, that's actually really, really good. That means we can actually go ahead and make this. So I need to make the pickup upgrade base. We're not gonna make the filter upgrade. I don't think, I don't think we'll have enough um, resources to make the filter upgrade. We'll have to see though. Uh, chromatic iron finally gets another use. Need another block of this. And I think we have everything to make an upgrade base. Now I need two magnets, which is two chromatic steel ingots. One vault diamond. Oh dear, this is expensive, but it, we are investing here as Iskel would say, uh, magmatite, magmatite, mag, mag, magnetite ingot. There we go. I need to smell some of this. <laughs> I'll... Oh no, you don't smell it. You combine it with chromatic iron ingots. Okay, that's cool. So I put it in there and then you need four per operation. All right. Now, I wish I had taken more when I was in the vaults. Uh, so I need 10 in total. Okay, phew, we have enough. So I believe that is everything to make one magnet and I need two more chromatic steel. Another vault diamond. I really hope this is gonna be worth it. There we go, another magnet. And I should be able to make the pickup upgrade, except not. I need a sticky piston. I have everything else. I just need to make a sticky piston. This could be actually problematic because I don't think that I have a slime ball anywhere. Huh. Nope. I, as a matter of fact, do not. Swamp. Search. Oh dear. 2500 blocks in this direction. Now, as it is nighttime, one can hope that we're gonna have slimes spawning. I was about to say generating. I guess, I guess both work. You know what? Both work in my book. <laughs> Aha, swamp has been located. Now it isn't a full moon, but one can hope that a slime will spawn anyway. In the meantime, swamp, dark green. Perfect. Now I just have to have to wait and hope really. Actually, it is a tiny swamp. I just realized. Like it just It basically stops here. <laughs> I don't think 
and we're gonna get a slime and unfortunately even if I put in swamp again it just leads me keeps leading me to this specific point which is unfortunate we do however have some coal which I will not say no to oh no wait we got more swamp over here Wow okay this this is actually way bigger than what I thought how did I not I guess because it cut it gets cut off right there okay well then slime I really really hope we get a slime I really want to be able to make this I don't want to run a vault having the pouch made without that upgrade <laughs> nor do I run a vault just to get slime Cool cave though. Looks like we've got a little bit more swamp over here. But then it basically ends. And the sun is about to go back up. Ooh, we do have another village though. Hmm. Don't worry, fellas, I will rescue you from hmm, definitely from the zombie. But also from a danger you don't no, exists yet. Um, or something. I don't know. Mm. Hey, Gollum, nice to see ya. Don't worry, I will take care of these villages for ya. I just need to find them. Oh, dear me, see? I'm, I, I, I have to save these guys, because that... That's just... Ooh. That's just unsafe. Like that... Mm. I, I can't allow that. I really, really just can't allow them to live near this amount of danger. Like, it's... It's really bad. Come on, guys. Up and out. Up and out. Really bad, this. Like, they are right next to... Oopsie. They're right next to a pillager outpost. Oh, dear. I really thought I would be able to... take more of a punch than that. Yikes. Um... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Two thousand six hundred and twenty blocks. Oh dear me. Well, at least I, I, I guess at least I have some some spare gear, and I guess at least it just turned daytime. Oh dear. Why? <laughs> Almost there. Two hundred meters to. Oh, this is another village. I thought. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I. Uh... Okay, fine. One minute. I thought I was climbing the right village. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I guess 200 meters was a little bit much in a village, though. Uh. Also, um, did I mention I forgot to bring food with me on um, this journey? Yeah. Ooh. Salt. And it's turning night time just as I arrive. Oh no. Danger. Danger! Okay, if I just go up here, grab my XP, transfer all items, um, I, I guess I'll just leave me there. Revenge is served. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Oh, it's one... Uh, the past night was one night after full moon. Dang. Well, where was I? I think... Yes. I was rescuing you. And I guess as it is night time, I should go back to the swamp and check for slimes. And I guess as it is night time again, I should check for slimes. Oh, ow. However, I am not really seeing any. I thought that zombie head was a slime when I jumped over it. That was... <laughs> that had my hopes up. But no. Yep. No slime. So, um... I have a problem. I was flying. Or in this direction. Because I saw... Oh! A ruined portal. I'll go and loot that while I'm waiting for it to become nighttime again. Because I'm waiting for a full moon so we can get some slime. However, something happened. Yeah. Um, and no, I didn't just hit the ground because of kinetic energy or anything like that. I'm pretty sure. Yep. My Elytra 
is broken. So that is not good. Um, <laughs> at all. All of that for a couple of gold blocks. And it doesn't... Oh, yes, we do have a chest. Uh, wow. Not, not, nothing of importance. Okay. I wonder if I get anything with experience right now, if it will... Okay, that does not have experience. Whether or not it will repair my elytra. Sorry, squid. Oh, it will. But I think I s because it's still broken. Nope. I just need to get enough experience. And it's broken again. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, there's that pillow to outpost I could always go visit. Which I might have to do. Yeah, I kind of didn't get on breaking three on my elytra. Which is first priority as soon as I get back home. Oh dear, I've been spotted. Okay, bad idea. Bad idea. I see one. Finally. Slime has been, well, hopefully, in a moment, acquired. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this stupid thing. <laughs> Alright, finally. Yep, there we go. Slime balls. Hopefully, I will not need to be hunting for slime balls again anytime soon. Ah, 14. And, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make the sticky piston. Yep, there we go. Mission accomplished. Um, wh which way is home again? Okay, yep. Uh, we can go home now. <laughs> However, one good thing happened on this trip. We expanded our villager collection quite a bit. So, all in all, that wasn't too... Well, actually it was. It took me ages to get that. But, all in all, it was pretty good. And home sweet home. Ah. Neighbors, sweet neighbors. <laughs> Why is there so many? Why is there always mobs here when I go home? Okay, I, I also think I need something else other than this crossbow. It is too slow for my liking. <laughs> go away, go away, go away. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, much better. And now we can go ahead and make the pickup upgrade. <laughs> Can we make... Oh, we can afford another upgrade base. Uh, but the filter upgrade needs two more perfect Laramar. Well, let's find out. Let's put this in here. Pick up settings. Yes! We don't need the filter upgrade. I remember correctly. Oh, so hold on. Give me a moment. Stay quiet. Oh. Yeah. Okay, to be fair, you are quiet, but... Okay. Ah. All right. So with all that gathered, now let us take a look at the pouch. So when we insert the pickup upgrade, first of all, it makes the pe the backup pickup items. So if I throw my water bucket, it should pick it up just like so, which is cool. However, of course, we don't want it to pick up everything. So it does have a filter. So we can say block things or we can say match backpack contents or we can allow things. So let's say I want to say allow bottles of enchanting and a vault cobblestone. Now, if I just throw this, this and my pickaxe and my bucket, when I walk over here, it's only, oops, it's only going to pick up the things that we have allowed it to. So that means we have a little bit of a basic filtering system, which is absolutely awesome. So this is going to be really, really cool because that means I can now go in here and I can tell it uh, certain items that I wanted to pick up. Things maybe like vault dust, uh, bronze, maybe I want... Oh, the texture for all carbon changed. Maybe I want that. We can basically fit nine things in here. So things that I find a lot is probably something that I would want to have in there. And how many items is this? This is almost there. One more item which I don't really know what should be. I guess skill assets is something that we have a lot. So I can go ahead and add that to this list. And this backpack is only going to pick up those items. This is going to be really cool when we start running. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, the carbon. There we go. So now the backpack is only going to pick up those items, which is, well, like I said, I'm saying it too often. It's really cool. Now with that upgrade, my plan is in the future to be breaking the vault chests instead of looting them, which is also going to be easier, I think. So having efficiency on my axe is really going to be beneficial. However, efficiency is a little bit expensive. Give me a moment. 
there's really not gonna be a whole lot of this forest left when I'm done getting all the books that I need. <laughs> or ever, because uh, when we start getting evolved gear as well, I'll also need unbreaking and uh, beer. Yeah, an emerald farm would be beneficial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. The exact amount for an efficiency four book. Question is, do I have, not the pickaxe, do I have enough levels? I do indeed. Very nice. Now, before we start running our first vault of the day, uh, testing out our new punch, punch, <laughs> pouch, we have some unspent skill points and the most requested that I took in the comments that I took is strength. And I agree, strength is really going to be helping us in the vaults. Also, I believe someone uh, said in the comments that sharpness, just like protection, doesn't have an effect in the vaults which is interesting, and in that case, strength is definitely going to be something that we, well, need a lot of. Now, as Vault Hunters was recently updated, we have two new items that I definitely want to set up before we do any vault running, and that is the animal pen and the animal jar. This is basically just going to make it a lot easier to farm animals without having to make big pastures and having laggy animals. So, all I really need is some polished vault stone, and in fact, I'm going to set more to smelt right away. Then I also need glass, which I actually don't have that much of, so I need to smelt the glass as well, which means I need more sand. All right, I should have everything that I need to get started. So first of all, we're going to be needing some animal pens. I have enough uh, fences to make five. That should be good enough for now. And then I also need five animal jars. Well, I think I only need really one. We'll find out. I might be wrong about that. But what I can now go ahead and do is I think I want to check out the church here. Hmm, this could... Yeah, that is... I could set up animals actually right here and right here for farming, but I think I want them closer to my home. Uh, hmm, I have an idea. Perhaps even a brilliant idea. Yes. Yes. Oh, and that's even five. Would you look at that? That is literally perfect. So now, what we can, what we can do here with these animal jars is, well, pick up animals. Shift. Click to pick up animals. And then we can click on one of these and, okay, so that does add the jar itself. So you do need multiple jars right there, but you can then shift, or sorry, just click in and it adds, well, the jar. And if I get one more pig, uh, maybe three more, if we just go over here, shift click this, now we have two pigs in here. Whee! Now we have three. Ooh, and we can pick up some sheep as well and chickens. I want at least two of each to get this process started. I see another chicken. By the way, this area, pretty sure, used to be forest. <laughs> another one I really want to get is two bees. Which one is right here? Ooh, uh, I don't have any bottles. I won't break that just in case I need something. However, I do need another bee. I see something flying over here, I think, on the minimap. Yep. Two bees, one here and one there. Please get in the jar. A third one will not be bad. There we go. Get away from the crater. It's, 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 ooh. it's not safe here. Wait, what was that? What was that? I can break it. I know it is uh, uh, A2. Okay, it's A2. It. Oh no, I can't place it black. I, I, I can't place it back. Uh oh. The, 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 we'll pretend that never happened, okay? Ooh, it was a happy accident, though, I think, because this bee... Eh, it's now mine. Four bees. I believe I still need one more sheep. Two more pigs. Actually, three. Oh. Ooh. Okay. And perfect. Right. Just as the sun is slowly setting. Oh, we have another beehive here. Ooh, really good, really good. Oh wow, that's a special looking bee, it has a sweater on. <laughs> okay, final sheep I think to be added to the collection. Four of them, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yep, and extra chickens. This is perfect. Yeah. So now all I need to do is just right click to add the animals to the spot. We still have an empty one. We can get some cows in that. And if I hold down shift, we can see how many of the different animals that we got. And we can breed them while they are in there. If I just go ahead and harvest some seeds and wheat. And then all I have to do is right click. And it takes the amount of wheat that it needs. And as you can see, we now have nine sheep. We have four chickens. Right click. We now have six chickens. And the bees, of course, they breed using flowers. So if I just grab a few, I believe I have four bees. So four flowers should be enough. Yep. No, we have six. Okay. Anyway, there you go. We have now doubled the bee count. And this thing, the... What's it called? The hive back there will actually get full and we can then get honey or shear it to get honeycomb from it. And I don't know if the more if the more bees we have honey level one. I don't know if oh gathering pollen actually has a timer. Hold on. So that goes down to zero plop and then 21 more seconds. So I don't know if that timer goes down the more bees we actually have. Now we had six bees, so I should be able to feed it maybe two more flowers. I don't know if that's how that works. No, I need to wait uh, 20 seconds. All right, so we should be able to breed them again. Now we have 12. Now I just need to get the gathering pollen and three, two, one. Come on. <laughs> Honey level four and it's down to 13 seconds. So actually the more bees we have, it seems the faster it gets full. So that's really cool. Really, really cool and efficient way of having farms rather than having, well, a bunch of fences with a bunch of very noisy animals. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Plop. Yeah, 10. Perfect. There you go. And there you go, it is now full, so whenever we need our next bottle of honey or honeycomb, we could just go ahead and get it very easily. Now, final thing before we make our vault crystal, and that is to get Unbreaky 3 on this vault sword, because it has 10 damage, which my axe has, but the attack speed is way, way quicker. So that is what I will be running with from now on in the vaults. Yeah. It also, it looks cool. But after much preparation and anticipation, we are going to be crafting our first crystal. And yes, in the brand new update, we now have bundles. Um, meaning, so it can now ask for leaves and it can be any of those leaves. So this crystal is actually really, really easy to get. I already have, well, the arrows. I may need to buy some more before we go on to this vault. But... For now, oh, I need gravel. Hmm, question. Will these leaves count? I wonder. We have walnut leaves. I don't know if they will work. One can, of course, hope. That would be nice. Let's find out. Yes, they do leave. They do, they do leave. <laughs> they do work. And there we go. Crystal accomplished. Time to get ready. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, three monoliths right here. Hopefully we'll be able to complete it. I would really love to, I, I just, I'm used to having the Elytron. I would really love to be able to complete it. This, it would be really cool. What is this? Is this? Okay, I don't know what this is, actually. This, I'm pretty sure, is an Omega room or something. Ooh, I will take the honey. I will take the honey. This place is cool. Very cool. I can't, I can't jump, apparently. Oh, wow. Skill shot. I guess... Oh, it's a, it's a marketplace, I guess? Any other place has weird floating items? Wow, this place is cool with alleyways and everything. Oh, there's actually a chest right there. I forgot my shulker boxes. <laughs> I actually forgot my shulker boxes. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next room, even though this room is super cool looking. You guys might have to let me know down below in the comments if I'm missing something, which I sh am definitely sure I am. All right, I could barely tell I was entering a room with the way this was uh, laid out. That's cool. All right, sword at the ready. 
Oh yeah, sword is so much better. That thing's behind me. Somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I could have been like these. Ooh, wow. Okay, we could, okay. The pouch, really useful. Of course, I could use it to store other things as well. Oh, wow, yeah, sword, way more efficient. But yeah, not having the shulker boxes is a shame. Oh, that's poison. That's poison, and I dived straight into it. It can't kill me, but it will hurt. And that's really cool about the sword. If I miss... Ooh, boy. If I miss my... Well, also that. It can have area of effect, area of damage. If I miss my shot, it doesn't take ages for it to recharge. The sword is really quick. Ooh, that was a... Uh, that was a dangerous skeleton, that one. Oh, yeah, sword. I should have used this in the last episode. One thing I could do as well is just drop things as I go. That way I can also still do a little bit of sorting. Having a magnet is actually going to be really beneficial. Maybe skeleton. Maybe zombie, I mean. Pain. Always a pain. Ooh. On HS. I didn't even know this was up here. That's good. You can pick this like normal as well, and my inventory is full. All right, let's move on to the next room. Ooh, what's this? I see gilded, I think. Yep, I do indeed. Please break, please break. Is that a, okay, I thought that looked like a wither boss, miniature version. I'm glad it wasn't. All right, living chest, please go away. Gotcha. And just break these. Uh, I can do that. I don't know if that was really worth it. But I'll take it. Oh, come on. That was so close. And you're a pain. Stop running around like a headless chicken. Oh, okay. This could be bad. This could be bad. This could be bad. I'm being ping-ponged. I'm being ping-ponged. And I have slowness for some reason. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Getting a lot of really good loot. This vault. My pouch is really not being used to its fullest here. Due to me forgetting my sugar boxes. Or, yes, Laramar. I uh, need to do this with this. Five Laramar gems. Excellent. Ooh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Uh... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I shouldn't celebrate yet. This could be either really good or really bad. There's only one way to find out, and that is taking straight down. Ow. And then doing this. Bad, 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 really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad. Oh, no. No, no. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Defeated. I had such good stuff. I had a lot of good stuff in that vault. Uh, I did. Why did they spawn above me? I don't remember they doing that. I knew it was a bad idea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're doing another one because <laughs> that was way too short. And what is it with this thing wanting arrows now? That, that's not. Uh, no, not okay. Well, while that really does suck. This time, I have shulker boxes with me. I think I can put the pouch away. And let's try this again. It really sucks though. I got. I feel like I got a lot of knowledge and a lot of other things as well. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to make do. Let's do this again. <laughs> oh, times one ornate. Plus one set of ornate chests. I think that that means that ornate chests will spawn randomly throughout the vault every now and then. Browns. Also, I have not had this theme before. It is beautiful. Was that a polar bear? <laughs> oh, we have vault doors down there. I hear things running around me. I'm probably going to get attacked very soon. Or living chest. Oh, no. No drowned babies. No babies. No babies. All right, let's yes, more knowledge, more knowledge. Very, very good. Nice. First shulker box will be full. Well, 
almost full. Ooh, random on eight chest. And these will not have any spawners by them, so that is awesome. I love the detail of it being the winter skeleton. Don't know I don't remember what they're called. The winter skeletons in the winter in the ice theme. Rather than normal skeletons. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Okay, come on, binary, don't die now. You're cleverer than this. Oh, spawner. I guess not. Ah, uh, Tobium. Ooh, got it though. Oh no, spawner. Spawner as well. Spawner. To not Tobium, Tobium. Oh yes, Tobium. Okay, that's Laramar. That's Laramar, I need that. Oh, <gasps> like a shoot, like a shoot. No, 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 are you kidding me? I was shot again. I thought... Uh, I'm struggling today. I'm struggling so bad. We got a good vault. We got good items. And we even had the Laramara and we found Tobium. And I died again. Wow. Okay. I am... A little bit heartbroken. Uh... <laughs> Not gonna lie. Ooh. We could use this mod box. <laughs> That's not even a modded item. <laughs> no, I'm even, I'm even more heartbroken now. Oh no. Wow. Well guys, um, as you can tell, Vault Hunters, people like me and people in general who run vaults, can have a good time, but they can also have a really bad time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, I, th I think that's gonna do it for the vaults today, um, however, shields, you can't craft shields, I don't remember how you get the shields, but you get them in, yep, yeah, unidentified vault shields, vault hunter style has uh, its own shields, which is awesome, I think though, before we end this episode, I I'm not gonna run any more vaults, I don't think, However, there are two more things that I need to do. One of them is to make this portal look nicer. And the other one is going to be the plan for the next episode. <laughs> so let me just fix this. Three, two, one. I think I'm pretty happy with this. In the future, I do want to add like glowstone or some sort of light behind these blocks. Actually, we have some different light source because I know that decoration blocks are not gated behind research this time around. Hmm. We do have things like this. Stone lamp. We could do something like that. Deep slate lamp. Uh no, that's not that's not it. Hmm. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. For now though, I do, I really do want like light sources behind there or something though. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. For now though, I think this is going to be pretty good. It's better than before, I think, a, a, a little bit at least. However, one thing that I think that does need to happen here is the frame does definitely need to be the polished vault stone, just to stand out a little bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, well, while today's episode has been very successful getting pouches and unlocking our uh, strength and whatnot, which honestly in the two vaults that we did run really proved useful, um, and we made it a, a little bit nicer. Okay, honestly, it's not super cool. I might improve it in between episodes, no promises though. I'm not super great at building. But yeah, like I was saying, even though despite we have upgraded our stuff, we now have the sword as well, which also proved very useful. We, we failed um, to vault run. So, to make up for it, in next episode, that's probably be going to be primarily what we're going to be doing. We're going to jump straight into uh, our next vault, and we have plenty of chipped vault pieces to go for. I might even do a stream in between episodes, doing some of these vault, re vault rock recipes, just so we can just focus on running the vaults in the next episode. So... If you don't want to miss that, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications enabled. But guys, like I said, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye. <laughs>
Bye.